that for us to get into the bottom of things, may I know who are now going to investigate this because these are technical. Uh, the circuit breaker, I have heard that the uh, UPS is okay. Uh, who, who will be the investigating body for this? The first question to, uh, to uh, our Director General uh, Ski Tamayo. Uh, to the chair. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, there are two, two teams now that are doing the investigation. One is internal in CAAP. They are in charge of this, uh, performing the investigation. And there is one that is external, which was created by the secretary, involving external agencies as well as uh, people involved within CAAP. And a member of this is the ICT. Uh, NSA. Yeah. And Nika is also involved. Cyber Council. And the uh, Cyber Council is also involved in the investigation, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you very much. Mr. Chair, since the pinpointed agency who is responsible for the ATS, we're not saying that they had uh, competence or they had gross negligence. But is it, I would like to ask now Skita Mayo and Secretary Bautista, don't you think DG Tamayo should take a leave of absence together with the officials of CAAP to afford the investigating body uh, with independence? And there will be, in other words, there will be no no stones unturned. Uh, we cannot have uh, the responsible official stay there while there is an investigation. We don't want a whitewash. We want a real investigation where we set aside temporarily uh, those who are managing the, uh, the ATS and this air traffic system. Well, don't you agree, Secretary? This is my question to Secretary Bautista. In all of these hearings, for the sake of uh, sake of transparency, for the sake of uh, non-interference by incumbent officials to get an independent probe by the by the by the by the committees that will form the Secretary Bautista. Don't you think, Secretary Bautista, that Skita Mayo should take a leave of absence and the other deputy generals? Mr. Chairman, the, 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 this is a situation I have been hearing all of this. And this is a situation where those responsible could not be there in office. They should not be, they should be quite at the same time, just have a leave of absence. I'm not calling for the resignation of, of, uh, of uh, our, our director general, but in fact, our honor would show there's anything left with him is to resign, but I'm not going to call that. My goodness, Mr. Chairman, we sacrifice the the, the, the uh, 65 million Filipinos and foreigners on that day, 700 flights, and nobody takes responsibility. Uh, secretary, my primo, you know, this is the body directly in charge of that. And then we're going around, we're going around, UPS, uh, circuit breaker, uh, upsurge of the electric supply. We are therefore saying, let us have an independent body, but meantime, so that the records will be intact. What has happened, there'll be no one that comes from CAAP who will still be there in office to be able to hide evidence. I call therefore for the secretary to make sure that our DG takes a leave of absence up and until there will be a uh, definitive report of the investigation by technical people, by everyone in the know. We congressmen are not technical, but we can see what is happening now. Different theory of the case. UPS, now we have uh, the, uh, the, the uh, circuit breaker. Probably in a week's time, another, another you know, uh, pointed reason. So may I hear from our primo, Jimmy Bautista. Through the chair. Uh, thank you, uh, Congressman Rodriguez. Uh, 
right now uh, we are conducting uh kaap is conducting uh, fact finding no? and uh when we have all these uh documents uh the investi investigating body will uh, uh continue the uh, the process no? and uh, we will consider uh asking uh, those people involved to uh take a leave of absence no? thank you very much secretary that will be the best thing to do we don't have we, we cannot have people be still be in their position when there's an investigation in law we call it we have to preserve evidence. Everything should be preserved and nobody who is in that agency, which is the focus of the investigation, should be there to allow an independent probe of this particular fiasco on January 1. So that is, thank you for considering it, Mr. Secretary, because that will be what the Filipino nation would want, that all those who would, I'm not saying that they are, who are possible, are possible violators of gross negligence, negligence and incompetence should not be present in those investigations. My second point, Mr. Chairman, thank the secretary for that. And I hope Iskita Mayo will hand, will hand his leave of absence only. Because if it will come up, that uh, uh, really it is, an, you know, I heard about this guy who said force majeure. It cannot be force majeure. This is not an act of God. This is to me, initially after hearing from January 1, all the explanations and this hearing, this is, Mr. Chairman, an act of men, men of incompetence and men of gross negligence. Until proven, I would like to just go on that and be following the investigation by the good secretary and just expressing my thoughts after considering everything, but we will therefore, we will therefore look and be able to be ready to, to have this investigation.